Hey YouTube, this is Manjot Singh, field CTO with MariaDB. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about two of our storage engines uh, in MariaDB Enterprise Server. Um, we have InnoDB, which everyone knows and loves, come on. And we have Column Store, which is used for analytics. So InnoDB is classically our OLTP engine. Um, you'd use that for your normal CRUD and, and all of that. But you also have uh, Column Store, uh, which is very easily accessible in Enterprise, alter table, engine equals Column Store. And um, you can create an analytics table. So what is Column Store? Let's, let's look at how InnoDB stores data. So InnoDB stores data in rows, right? Um, usually in the B tree, and there's some complicated science around that. Um, I think I've talked about that when I've talked about indexing. Um, but with column store, it actually stores it in columns. And it does this in uh, extents of 8 million rows. Um, and those are all stored like this. Um, and it allows for quick and fast analytics. So how would we use those together? Well, let's say we want to crunch some numbers. Maybe we have billions of rows stored right here in column store. Um, so we'll say this is InnoDB, InnoDB, and this is column store. Um, we want to crunch these numbers. Let's say we have a list of countries. Um, we'll say 1 through 250, um, et cetera. Um, We'll give them numbers because uh, sometimes numbers are faster, right? Column store does store text. It stores actually quite, quite a bit that InnoDB stores. It's about 90% compatible with InnoDB in terms of uh, data types and uh, SQL language and syntax and all of that. There's a few things that are, are engine unique for all of the storage engines, right? Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be different storage engines. So um, column store would be our fact table, and InnoDB would be our lookup table. So in InnoDB, we might have a countries column, and that countries col uh, column would be like USA, number one, right? <laughs> you might have uh, Canada, et cetera, and we'll go down the list to 250. Um, now, when you're crunching this data, you can actually do a join. You can join your InnoDB table on the column store data and get out not just numbers, but you can crunch, um, you can crunch the numbers and then get out actual readable data using the join. So that's why I would use those together. The other one we get a lot of is maybe your InnoDB data um, is coming in live on a website. You have lots of clicks. You have things changing in your application. But maybe a month or maybe a year down the road, you want to analyze that data. So what you can do is have it flow directly into a column store table. That could be an event that does um, insert into the column store table with select star from InnoDB. You might have a, um, a, a trigger. You might have a stored procedure that runs now and then, right? You could even do replication. So actually, um, we see this sometimes. So you have your normal InnoDB topology, right? Um, primary replica. Uh, and you might have a column store cluster, right, um, of a few nodes. And you can actually just replicate. You can just replicate from primary to, to column store. You can do this in Sky SQL as well. It's really cool. Um, so now you have your archival data loading off of uh, maybe for uh, BI later on. And you can actually purge the data from your OLTP system, keep it light, keep it um, you know, uh, small, smaller data, and then have your big data in, in column store. So there's lots of opportunities for these two engines to work together, complement each other. Um, if you're going to go the replication route, you can also look at Expand, which is also available in Sky SQL. Um, lots of great options there. Um, I definitely recommend, if you're going to do this on-prem, put MaxScale in front of it. MaxScale will help you control some of this. It has the bin log router uh, to flow replication. It can pull uh, with Kafka. It can start putting data into column store. Um, so quite a few options. I, I definitely recommend trying this out. It's simple, alter tables. Um, doesn't require a huge investment. Um, thank you.